Hey guys, in today's video we're going to have an update on Elena's 12 week transformation. Hi, this is me, Bonnie. So we're about almost three weeks in and I'm just going to have Elena do most of the talking and share her experience so far with the weight loss game changer system. So let's talk about how your first week went. Okay. <laughs> the first week was really challenging. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty with figuring out, well, not figuring out, but it was actually very easy to figure out how many calories I should be eating, um, my macros and everything using, using the guide. But I had a problem personally with, um, I guess, changing my thinking. It's been so ingrained in my head to think about calories as being bad and to try to restrict as much as you can. And so for a while, I was thinking like 1,200 was the magical number. So even when I knew that I needed to eat more, I kind of was resistant to it. And I was scared because I was like, if I'm going to eat that much, then, you know, much more than that, then I'm going to, you know, not have as good of progress. But actually, it was the opposite. I was having even worse time trying to fit with it. And then I would just get frustrated and not stick to it as well. So... The second week was much easier so when be, I actually before, before committed. You get into, so before you get into the second week, so yeah. you were saying you posted that despite the calculations to customize your eating plan, you still ended up fudging some criteria to make your numbers lower. Absolutely. <laughs> it was more of like a punishment kind of a thing, you know, like I, you have to eat this much and that's it and and it just it was very restrictive mm -hmm. <laughs> so what did you end up doing for the first week did you end up like, I been I would do really well for a day and then get really frustrated because I was like this is crazy like who's gonna eat like this and be happy after not eating in a restriction at all for a while um so then I would do well and then I binged and then I would do well and then so you didn't really change anything no it, it was, was really tough, tough. So you basically did the same habits you were doing before. Right. But being more mindful about what I was eating for the days that I was doing better, I guess. But okay. not much. Okay. But my second, after after posting in the group and kind of getting some support and, um, you know, the encouragement and stuff like that, I was like, I can do this. You know, I'm not going to get discouraged. And I have a lot of things that, I guess, previous mindsets that have been, you know, ingrained in my brain that I need to break. <laughs> and so have you done any of the mindset training? I've done, I've done, a, yeah. I've filled out the forms. I've watched the videos and stuff like that. I've been trying to be mindful. And honestly, the second week was so much better. And like, I've even stuck to it. So. So why do you think, what happened the second week that changed from the first week? Honestly, I want to say maybe the support and encouragement from everybody um, I posted in the group my struggles and stuff like that, and everyone's like, you could do it, and, and that actually helped a lot, and even seeing, like, the before pictures helped, too. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was, like, that combination, and um, being like, you know what, I've been doing this for so long that it's possible, you know, you, you see people in the group that have been doing this. So then I was like, you know what, I, it's really possible. I can really do this. Okay. So for the first week then you had, you were eating still restrictively and then the second Pretty week, really. so then the second week you decided to eat what you should have been eating or what? Yeah. What but I mean, I'm going to definitely say from eating so restrictively, it was hard to be like, oh, wait, I have to eat more. I have to do this and stick to it and try to make sure that I was eating the right macros too. I was like, I have to trust this process because if I'm going to keep doing it the way that I was doing it, it wasn't helping. I wasn't doing anything better. So okay. it was like, okay. why not commit to it? You have this, you know, okay. all so these that's tools interesting. So that's interesting. So it's like, here's the map on what you should do. Yeah. Like for the first week, you still ended up doing what you used to do. Yeah, and then the I'm pretty week, stubborn of a person. <laughs> so, so then the second week you decided, okay, I'm just going to trust the process and do what yeah. you should do. Okay. Yeah. And so I'm curious, did um, did the motivation mindset stuff help you at all? I think so. I definitely think so. Yeah. Because I, I think that I've fallen so far behind and, like, gotten to a place where I never thought that I would be personally. So it's like, I don't even know how I got here. 
and I didn't think for a long time that it was possible for me to even go back. So just like to imagine it and, and kind of stay consistent with like your goals and stuff like that. Like the why is what's really important. Like, why are you doing this and for what? And it's not only just the weight or how you look, it's it, everything else stems from, from this. It's like having that positive relationship with yourself, Mm -hmm. which I didn't have for a long time. And it's still hard. I'm I'm not going to say it's a hundred percent, but practicing and doing it. And again, like you said, trusting the process, that's, Mm -hmm. it's definitely helps. Yeah. People have already noticed. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are they? What have you been hearing? Um, I, you know, even um, seeing my aunt, I saw her, what was it, last week before Thanksgiving, um, and she was like, you look lighter, like, not even just just weight-wise, just, you know, like, your spirit or, or your, the way about you is just lighter. You seem a little bit happier. You're holding yourself up a little bit higher, oh. a little bit more confident. You know, that's, that's been really great, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. And what do you think that's a result of? I think maybe it's a, the combination of, of that. It's definitely the mindset um, tools helping, you know, kind of like talking to yourself and having that, yeah. again, like I said before, the relationship with yourself. Yeah. And, and trusting yourself and being like, you know, believing in yourself again. Yeah. That's huge. So I feel like a lot of people underestimate the mindset piece of it because I think that is the main thing. <laughs> yeah, for me at least. No, I, I can't speak for anyone else. Yeah, yeah. But. No, I think it is for everybody. I think they they kind of think like it's woo woo stuff, but even if yeah. you were to know exactly what to do, right? Your mind There's is gonna, out there. It's, your mind yeah. is going to control you, and you know that's going to help you with your consistency or going back to your old habits. Totally. So Absolutely, that's awesome. that's awesome. So, do you feel like you've gained any sort of self awareness? I think so. I think even in the poll, I was fudging things in the beginning. It's like, you're lying to yourself. Like, what is that about? You know? Mm-hmm. And, and kind of just being like, you know, I'm a human being. And, you know, sometimes you have some great days where you feel really excited and happy. And you can't be so hard on yourself. I'm so used to everybody is trying to strive for perfection. So when I, I wouldn't and I didn't, I would feel really bad and really guilty and, and have negative self-talk. So kind of like knowing where I'm at and accepting it and making sure that I'm going to make those positive steps for the future. Yeah. Okay. But that's that awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's move into week two. So week two, week you said two. was a lot better. So much better. I actually, um, I'm not a great or a big cook, so I was eating out a lot, which didn't help with me trying to calculate and stay on track. And I work at night, which also makes it hard. And I work with other people and the pressure of them let's order out or like, let's go out to eat. That was a thing. So then I, I actually cooked for everyone else too. So we were all eating <laughs> the same stuff we had like twice this week and then they would cook things too. And oh, we kind of funny. all did it together. Wait, which so you, you were cooking stuff for your coworkers at work? I did. Oh. Yeah. I, I think they've seen like how I've been doing it and and I've actually, I've said it before, they you know, like, oh, I'm going to be good, I'm going to die, whatever. But I don't think they've seen me do it. It's, like, what, week three now, and, and I've actually stuck with it. So yeah. it's kind of like they wanted to do that, too, especially around the holidays. So they're kind of like, oh, well, now I kind of want to, like, get on the kick. So Yeah. So are you eating more than you were previously, and do you feel restricted? I don't feel restricted anymore. It's actually, I have to be mindful to make sure that I'm eating as much, you know, as many calories and, and as, um, what is it, macronutrient, making sure that I hit those, those numbers yeah. more now. So um, are you, are you, are you hitting your numbers or are you getting like close to your numbers? I'm getting closer and I'm not going to say that all, every day I, I hit it the right way, but it's. It's a learning process, so you're learning, like, what foods work, what don't, like, what feels better for me, you know. Mm-hmm. What works for me may not work for somebody else, so kind of doing it on on my own, you know, to tailor it is yeah. this week. <laughs> so how much of a hang do you have of, like, eating flexibly to reach your, uh, your macros and goals? I think I have more of a hang can I get better with it of course and I would love to make sure that I am getting consistent I think the more that I do it the easier it is totally and it's I'm not bored which is really great you know
Let's talk about your two weeks progress photos, your before and after. Uh, yeah, I'm shocked seeing them. Like, you know, every day you see yourself and, and you don't realize. You're like, oh, well, you know, I feel a little bit better today, but, you know, that's just one day. But then actually seeing it, I was like, whoa, actually, that's a big difference. And it was only two weeks. Yeah. It's very motivating. <laughs> yeah. What was interesting is that your weight actually went up. Right. My weight went up, but I I looked more toned. Yeah. And, like, clothes have, like, been fitting a little bit better. You know, it's a small change, but... Yeah, so you lost some inches. So this is, like, a really good proof point out there for everyone that it's not about the scale weight, but about fat oh, loss. It's not about the scale weight. It's definitely about the fat loss. So I feel, I feel even much, like, so much better already, and... The scale is sorry. <laughs> the the scale is like maybe one pound more. So what about your working out, like getting started to lift weights? Okay, so um, I've been following the beginners workout guide, um, and I noticed that even from week one and week two, I increased the weight that I had been lifting. So that was really exciting. I was yeah. I was always very weak and I felt like I was super weak and I was like within a one one full week I was already increasing the pounds that I was lifting so that was super cool That's awesome. and it's actually really easy to follow um especially with the lengths and then I'll show you like what part what muscle that it's working and like how to exactly move it and so as somebody who's a beginner and who's very intimidated about that kind of stuff Having it so clear yeah. is definitely super helpful. Yeah, okay, great. So everything was really easy to follow then. It's super easy to follow, yeah, totally. And um, it's not really complicated okay. stuff. It's so unfortunately, you had this thing happen to your knee. Yes, I don't know exactly what it is. I've gotten x-rays on it, and it's not broken, but it's been about three weeks with it super swollen i have a knee brace on it and so this, is, wait, so, so this is not from working out though this isn't from working out no i actually woke up one day and it was like that i and like the doctors were like did you fall did something happen no i don't know well your doctor said you'll be better in like a week that's what he said to stay off of it for a week um and i'm taking a lot of ibuprofen yeah. So that means you haven't been doing any lower body leg days then, right? No lower body, which makes me sad because I actually want to work on that a lot too. Mm -hmm. But I have been doing a lot of arm things, which mm -hmm. is cool. So how many days a week have you been working out? Not about three. Three? Okay. Yeah. I would like to go more, but it's been difficult, especially with my leg hurting. Yeah. Like what happened with week three? Oh, week three was, was good. I, I stayed pretty consistent um, with everything. Actually, really consistent. Um, it also was a holiday. Yeah. So that was... <laughs> but Thanksgiving. I did really well, actually. I usually get a second plate of everything, and I made sure that I cared about my portion sizes. But I didn't restrict myself on what I was eating, and I didn't feel like I was restricting. And I was full by the time of my first plate being finished. And I was like, what is this? So that was cool. Oh, wow. It was good. I enjoyed myself. You know, I had, you know, a glass or two of wine. And I, di I didn't hate myself for it. Yeah, no, you know how good. Sometimes when you're restricting and dieting and stuff, you feel bad about it. But I didn't. Yeah. No, that's it's great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, intermittent fasting? Are you doing intermittent fasting? I am intermittent fasting, actually. Um, I usually do the 16-8 uh, because that's a little bit easier for me. Yeah. It's it's weird but good that I work at night. Um, so I, I'm not usually hungry in the mornings anyway. But it is hard when I come home, like, really, really late and my eight hours is already up that I want to come home and eat. So I have to just not do that. What I do is usually my first meal is when I get into work, so I work 4 to 12. Mm -hmm. So I eat around like, yeah, around like 4.30. Okay. Do you do fasted workouts? I do, actually. I like them better, doing fasted workouts. I don't know. It just feels better for me. I have 
just as much energy, if not more, than I would if I had food. Mm -hmm. I also don't like eating breakfast in the morning anyway. I've never been big on that. Mm -hmm. So it just makes more sense to fast while you work out. That's great. It sounds like you're kind of finding your groove. Yes, finally. It's a, you know, it's a process, but it's it's happening. (laughs) That's great. Uh, I feel like yeah, no, awesome. I feel I feel really great, and I I feel actually really motivated. I feel like usually by now I would probably want to give up or have some sort of excuse, but it's pretty easy to follow. And yeah, so getting results. Like I know. What, what more can you ask for? I, you can see <laughs> well, I guess lastly, do you have any advice for anyone who is starting a transformation journey? Um, my advice for anybody who's starting a transformation journey would probably be to trust the process. I know that may sound cliche, um, but if you trust it and you stick with it and you believe in yourself, that's huge. Like, um, having a, like I said before, having that positive relationship and believing in yourself and trusting that you're going to do what you got to do and that the process is going to work for you, that's I would say, for me, it was key, and I think that it would help you, too. All right. Well, thank you, Elena. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, that's Elena's journey so far. A rough first week, but it's all about not giving up, being flexible, and consistency always wins. So who can relate to some of what Elena has experienced? Was there anything that you guys found interesting? Please feel free to share your thoughts and comments below. And if you want to learn more about the weight loss game changer system that Elena is using, check out www.eatnotdiet.com slash system. And if you missed it, make sure you check out my extended Cyber Monday special, my new fat loss hourglass workouts and e-cookbook for just $9.99. That's at eatnotdiet.com slash special fat loss. And all the links are also in my description below. All right, guys, that's it for today. Please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.